The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 11th of August. Gosh, time is flying fast for us here in the Boston area. Summer's just about done. I mean, summer itself. Uh, nights, uh, the, the sun's setting earlier and earlier. Um, actually, this August has been very cool. Usually, it's stinking hot. Anyway. With, an, with the Dow of 55, 35,232, remember, we've been discussing for quite some time. I'm going to go to this chart right here. In fact, I thought Technical Friday, maybe for once, I'll just show you all these different charts. A lot of them, I don't even look at it for weeks and weeks and weeks, and then I look at it and say, oh, yeah, that's right. For instance, well, this one here, this is just the, the Dow, the S&P, the NDX 100, and the SMHs. Look how they move nicely in sync. All right, well, in sync. Uh, some are syncing right now. Uh, I want you to go to this chart right. Uh oh, did I lose it? No, 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 no. Oh, there it is. No, this is not it. Oh, I just worked in it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, this is the monthly chart of um, the SP in blue. And this is the monthly chart of the uh, SOX, this is the semiconductor, this is the key, this is the semiconductor index. And what I always say is that as long as I can remember where the semiconductors go, the market tends to go. It's, uh, that's just the general rule that I have. And you can see almost every look at all the lows, look at the highs, sometimes a little early, sometimes a little late, same thing with the, the bottoms. A lot of the time it's exact, but it could also miss by a couple of months. But mostly, you're looking at this trend. And I, I'm not sure I did this on the spur of the moment. So usually, I get the charts a little bit. I'm not sure why there's such a distance between the two of them, uh, whether it's the index on the right. I don't know what it is. But anyway, it, it just demonstrates it visually very, very nicely. And look what we've got. We've got that high that was made back in November, I believe it was, for the SMHs. Yeah, somebody in December or November of 2021. At uh, so the S and P was at forty eight oh eight, and the semiconductors was uh, I think same same time. I can't get it right now. Um, so, but look at look at the way you've joined, and then look at the bottom, and look at the way we've come up, and now look we've, what we've done. We haven't gone to the all time high. We're pulling back here, and we're pulling back in sync, and all it says is. If you're watching for this kind of matching toppy formation, this is really a moment that you've got to take. You've got to have respect for the chart. That's all I'm saying. I have a lot of respect for these charts because um, there's a tendency for patterns to repeat and for characteristics to repeat. All right, I'm done with that. Now what we want to do is to go to... Um, should I do it here or should I do it there? You remember I did this the other day. Uh, I'm going to do Oh, I wanted to do it on this one. So look at this. This is just real easy. Pink is negative on the 914 and green is positive. Uh, this is an um, index that we actually, an ETF that we have bots. It's the AI, um, robotics, and um, there it is. There it is. It's called the. I never remember the exact name, but it's the robotics uh, ETF. So we, we've got it much lower, and we've taken profits, uh, some profits, uh, and we kept the core position. Look how it's pulling back, and that's not the one I wanted to show. I wanted to go through each one of these individuals. Look, here's the Dow. Look how green it is. It is and has not, to this moment, this is a daily chart, turned pink. So the Dow is up 39 at 35,215. Look at the uh, S&P. It has turned pink. And it, the last time it turned pink was just for one day right there. One day. <laughs> it went green again. But the last time it turned pink was right there. Now, I don't want to over overload everything. 
I want to make this as simple as possible. I've got one moving average. I don't even have the two. This is one that changes color when it flips negative or positive, right? So this, if it doesn't go for one bar, then most of the time it goes for quite a few bars. It could go for months, but it could also go for bars, right? Look, all of these. See the other pink? Turn down, turn down. Look at the QQQ. The Qs are right now down 254 at 366.07. And what we've got is quite a few days of pink. It had one day that was a real fooler back there in May. And then we've got these turnarounds. It can be a short period or it could be a little longer, but it's more than a day or two. If it's only one day, once in a year or two, Every other time, it's it's back here. Is that a year or two? Yes, that's back in 2021, December. They had a couple of days, pink, then green, and pink. So this is what I always say for, for people who ask me the question about, could you just trade using the 9 EMA? I'm going to show you something fascinating in a moment. So the answer is yes, but that's not really what you should be doing. That's for your core. That's holding the core position to confirm a buy signal that goes to a buy mode, meaning it can stay that way for a long time, or a sell signal that can go to a sell mode. We're now in a sell mode, and we don't know how long it's going to last in the QQQs. Look at the IWM. Took a while, but the, uh, for two days now, two, three days, it's been pink. Look at the SMHs, semiconductors. Look at the steepness of the decline under all those previous, not under, it's touching all those previous support levels and uh, it hasn't closed under that yet, but it's in a sell mode. Uh, I should mention just for disclosure purposes, we short from just about the top and um, we actually a little bit aggressively short. We have taken some nice, very short term, I call them just a tad has been taken off. So, okay. Within that context, what we're looking at is gold. Just using this one indicator. I just thought today's technical Friday. Let's do some of this technical. So there's nothing to do. As far as I'm concerned, we have our positions. We're just going to wait until we get a change in inflection point. Could happen at any point. Um, and we'll just wait. Meantime, look at this gold. He has this arch formation. There's an arch formation, and it successfully turned to win green. He has an arch formation. This is internal low, residual low, internal low, residual low, internal low. Are we about to make a residual low? Well, we don't know because why? Let's do this. The gold is up one at 1950, testing the 1940 area. This is a continuous contract. Silver. Look, arch formation. Very, very uh, powerful move to the downside. The actual pattern itself is a little bit more positive than gold, but if it breaks this, it's not going to be that positive. So we're watching that closely, and silver's up at 22.83, up 0.09. Let's go to high-grade copper, high-grade copper. Look at this. In the arch formation, it can go to a dreaded H. And this goes together with, this is international copper, Dr. Copper, we call it, because it's international uh, sign of economic strength. And yes, wood. This is the iShares Global Timber and Forestry EDF. Also just stuck in a range, not that powerful, but actually impressive that it, it got this high. So with that, in that, with that context, let's go to the HTX. Go to the break. HTX, the hot open. Still green. Isn't that amazing? I'll be back. Bells are trapping. Bells up 72. SMB's down for when you like that. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at tfnn.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I should have actually shown this. I, I, some of you might have seen that I was drawing this in uh, before I came on air. But then I, I, I didn't do any training, anything like that. I just There were just so many things going on, I couldn't do that. But isn't that interesting? So the cup formation that I'm always looking at here, and you can see um, I choose always if I can't, it was over here when I was doing that, it was over there. So if I can't see that this is going to make a left side, right side price time match using a plumb line at the low that's the most obvious, <clears throat> then I say, all right, I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive. I'm going to make it from um, an earlier point to see if it can get there, and then we'll see if it takes too long. So I chose a, I always choose a particular candle if it's not very obvious from a trough or a cup, a bottom, um, I, I choose or a peak D or a trough D. I choose a particular candle, and I chose this right here, and I I said all right th to myself, okay, let's see what happens. And then on the left side, I use a particular uh, technique to draw the Chapman wave inside wedge target resistance line dash green on the way up dash pink on the way down and i drew this in and i and we were just yeah i think we were maybe starting at 4470 just starting to move up but you can see that um the macd started to improve the stochastic started to improve that on balance volume ah, it was lagging badly but I still drew in the lines, and this is what I drew in. He has this dash green line, goes, it gets hit, it, 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 it acts as resistance, pulls back sharply. That could have been it. But that line did not flip pink. It stayed green. And look what happened. It goes uh, right to the point. This is, look, here, there is, that is, you see those dots there? That was the end of this price time match, and now it's gone above it. So are we setting up exactly the same picture as we had uh, yesterday and the day before and the day before? Huge intraday. If there's an intraday turnaround today, my thinking is that we might actually land up 
not having that final hour pullback, and we might hold. And one of the reasons why we took profits in some of our positions is, I was saying, at any point, there could be this, the, the way the VIX, remember we spoke about this yesterday and the day before and the day before, I said, this volatility index, uh, VIX, VIX dot X, there we go, this volatility index just spiked so quickly of almost, in some cases, all-time highs, that it got a little too excited, a little too exuberant on the pessimistic side. And therefore, we were susceptible and liable to have some kind of a bounce at any point. And it's the reason why I decided that we would buy, we would have longs, I added a long position for subscribers, thinking that we got it, we cannot be one sided here. This is a, a more than a bifurcated market. It is just, it's all over the show. You've got to find what seems to be working on the long side and seems to be working on the short side and just try to separate all those issues in your mind and just go with each one doing its own analysis. So my analysis here says <clears throat> that the VIX index, even today, spiked up to 16.51. Now it's at 15.47. It's there for a reason because, as I said before, it takes a while for these um, moving averages to cross negative. Um, if they don't happen immediately, it can take a while, and it's a process. And in this process, my contention has been that some of these, some of these really big cap stocks that are very important have had a pretty decent pullback. I mean, take an apple, for instance. Take an apple. Look, take an apple and just think about the way Apple has acted right here with its deepest correction in ever since, I mean, you can go back to December, January, you can go back to the end of last year. But all of this year, it's not had such a, a powerful move. So it's ready to help, at least help the market a little bit, and certainly the Dow, by having a bit of a balance here. And that's, and that's the way I'm looking at the market. So I wanted to, I'll continue now. Um, there was one or two other things that uh, <clears throat> I want you to look at because it was mentioned in the Dan. One was S A S A was that S A V R? Oh, I think I missed it. Uh, where was it? S S V R A. There, S V R A. <clears throat> Great. We did an analysis for one of our Dan members, Dan, and and uh, we were looking at it. it. Was in this rectangle formation a couple of days ago. <clears throat> And my contention was that as long as it's walking the nine period moving average, that's a good sign. And it needs to break 3.82 or 3 or something like that to start leg D. Well, it did that yesterday. And what a follow through today, up 8.5% just today, up 33 cents at 4.17. Uh, I've got this as a leg F in the weekly chart and a leg D. There's that big rectangle in the um, monthly chart. Remember, we were looking at this candle. And I said, if at any point on a weekly basis it can close above two, um, no, above 358, the high of the 30 week of the, uh, no, the high of March of this, uh, of 2021, that'll really be a big. Uh, and it hasn't closed above it, but it's well above it right now at 416. So we'll see. But this is a this is really this is oh did I mention this or not? I can't remember if I did because this was the I think I forgot. I saw it and then completely forgot to discuss it. Um this low here of 0 0.69, 69 cents back in 2019, that gets an up arrow. That means that every single, as long as no low bar takes out 0.69 on a monthly basis, it means every single peak gets counted. And I would have put this in if I if I remembered to do something about it, but it just it was flashed by me. I remember now, and then I just I forgot all about it. This is called. Oh, this is just a fantastic example of a chap. This is a Tactical Friday. This is where we do some education in the Chapman Wave methodology. I should have done this. Oh, how silly that was. So here's your first big spike from 0.69 in SA, SVRA, Savara Inc. I can only imagine that it's a biotech if Dan's looking at it. No, he looks at many other things. Um, so it had a high of, of 548. 
In November, it makes its low of 0.69, slightly higher low the next month. That starts the leg A, spirals to leg A, and then that's it. So I like to do this. I like to grab the, I've just done this uh, a couple of times today already, but uh, this last one move, I didn't have any, any position at all. But look how long a rectangle formation can last. Look at this. See, I drew it in. It's the same thing, a long rectangle formation. Look at this. It goes, this is a, a one-minute chart, so it might not sound long, but believe me, you, when, when you're following it, look how long this has lasted. Look at this. It, it's from the high right there of 4.20 this morning at 44.86 to the low of uh, at about 4.41 this morning, Eastern Time, of 44.77, and then it just stayed there. And look, look at this midpoint range. When it breaks that after making a peak D, watch out, because if it takes out the, the base of the rectangle formation, it can go a lot lower. But it did go a lot lower, and now it's bounced, and that makes this whole area a magnet, that the price should come back there. So 44.87 is a test, 14.4. 86 at any moment. I'll be back to Sabra. Tigers. Candlestick pattern analysis is a primary tool among successful traders, and you should be no different. Candlestick patterns can demystify buy points, sell points, general price movement, and so much more. At 4 p.m. on Monday, August 14th, trader Teddy Kekstadt will be hosting a live, hour-long webinar on Japanese candlestick patterns. Teddy, the author of the Tiger Forex Report, has been trading for 33 years, and candlestick patterns have been instrumental to his success. For just $97, see how to use candlestick patterns to analyze stocks and options in order to capitalize on market swings, increase your odds of success, and decrease your risk. During this live webinar, you will learn when to use and when not to use Japanese candlestick patterns in this volatile market. Dispel the myths about this strategy and see just how much the mastery of candlestick pattern recognition can impact your trading. Visit TFNN.com today. TFNN. Educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, so we're back. We're talking about the Chapman Wave overlapping wave to leg D. So what happens is you get under, you have your starting point. Remember, this is your low bar. This is the monthly chart of Savara Inc. 
and right there, 0.69. So unless it goes to 0.68, this stays as your baseline uh, by signal, and it can stay there. And it goes peak, and then it pulls back, and it goes peak A, peak B, pulls back, even a lower low, but not below the 0.69. And then it goes to a leg C, and that's the one that went to 3.58 or whatever that was. And then it comes back and it spends months. One, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen. This is a monthly. It takes a year, almost two years, and it goes again to a leg C underneath the previous C. When I, whenever I note that, and it pulls back to make a peak C under, the, and usually I make these gray because I don't have a complete uh, gray because it's underneath the previous high, so gray, gray, gray. I would have typed in here, which I always do, I type in and I say, cap wave overlapping wave to leg D, and that is a, that means that you've got um, the two streams of, of, of power to the upside and it usually powers sharply above that previous high, goes to leg D, and then that becomes at least initial support early on. So here we are. We've got the overlapping wave, goes to a D. So while I'm talking about that, let me just do another technique that I just saw moments ago. I'm not doing any trading on this. I'm just demonstrating it here. <clears throat> um, because you've already lost the, the security of getting the almost the exact top. So this went to a peak D, the one minute chart of the E mini, and this is called the Chap Wave Instant Restart because within two, three bars, it made a new recovery high. It went to a leg E. If it does that within two or three bars, then I always say, okay, call it an alternate count. Give it an E slash A because it, it could be an E and then turn down sharply. But there's a possibility with that particular technique that it could go higher and it can go all the way to a whole series of highs to another peak D. So then this net one becomes F slash B. This is the price time match we were talking about just a moment ago. It stalls right at the resistance that I typed in there. But then it goes higher, and that becomes a G slash C. And what I'd said over the last, I'd say about a year and a half, I've made it a big deal. It's the one thing in the Chapman Wave methodology, my CD introducing the Chapman Wave methodology book from way back. Um, I, I say this is the change. When you get to a G, instead of expecting a sharp pullback, be prepared that very quickly you could have a little cup formation and go to a D. So rather put G slash C and then assess and see what happens. And look what happened. It went to the D. The unbalanced volume gave you that exact high right there. It turns around. MACD is down. Stochastic down. But that nine period moving average is not turning down. So this becomes because after E, it went below the trough that made a peak E. It went much deeper. So what I do is I type in Chapman Wave, and I usually put it in pink and I make it a little smaller. It's just sitting there. We've seen it in so many charts that I almost forgot about. And it just sits there. Now, I, I, I'm, I try to put a time to it, but I, I need more information at the top to be able to give it a time. I need to be able to draw the diagonal Chapman Wave inside wedge target support line. But in the meantime, I should just extend this. But it looks to me like the next move is going to be down to the 44.7150 level. If I'm correct, that this is a chap wave unconventional thread based restart. A lot of words, but it explains exactly the technique after a peak D. When it, after peak D, you go to an E or even an F, but it comes back and takes out the little trough that made that peak E. And especially if it takes out a low just after D. You got to be careful. That's what I'm saying. We'll see what happens here. Um, I'll be back to that because if this is going to work, it's going to work before my show finishes, or else it's not going to work at all. Okay. So with that said, so Savara, very nice move up. And you remember, I got this very. I put this in. Um, no, I've just put it in now. This is a big cup formation. All right. Next question came in. I want you to do some work on. Whoa! If I miss something. Yeah, Amgen. God, I'm sorry for subscribers from opening call. I had Amgen. I typed it in. Once we did have Amgen just for a brief while, I haven't had it for ages. Look at that move. I, I typed in yesterday, peak D, and look where it is now from the 247 area, 263. Fabulous move. That means that some of these farmers, especially with Eli Lilly, having had a spectacular move, Amgen is kind of following in the footsteps. Next question I had was, uh, XLE in the in the Tiger YouTube XLE. Let's just do this. 
So there was an alternate count. Remember, I say if you've got a Chapman Wave flat base restart, oh, isn't this interesting? I remember doing this uh, and saying, you know, there's no other way I can count this. I think we've got an unconventional, unconventional Chapman Wave flat base restart right here in the XLE. And look what happened. It went to a G. I haven't even looked at this for a couple of days. And that G, remember what I was just saying? G slash C, when you've got an instant restart and you get to a G, be a little bit prepared and call it a G slash C because there's a really good chance that you are not going to pull back, uh, just pull back from that G. You can do it, but be prepared that you could have a big bounce to a D. Lo and behold, we got the D right there. So this is the energy um, energy factor. Now, I, I need to talk about this. I, I might have to talk about one of the stocks that we just got the other day. Uh, we, we had it once, and we just I had the tightest stop. We got stopped out, and I got it again because we were expecting a leg D, and it got to that D. Um, no, I'm not going to talk about it. So this is the XLE, also in the energy sector, S&P Select Energy Spider Fund. <clears throat> Look at that cup formation that's holding so well. Look at this breakout in the cup formation in the weekly. It's gone to a peak C1, C2, and then I need to do this. I need to make the Chapman Wave falling X formation. Here we go, right there. Pull back. Oh, why is it just falling on me? Let's do it again. There to there. So it's broken out. Um, there's the other part of it, which becomes a big cup formation. So I'll talk it out as we're doing it. Here we are. There's your cup to the right. This is a gray leg B. Why is it gray? Because this, oh, the stochastic just went to 81% of the MACD. So I can say that the buy mode from the peak C1, C2 double tops in the 93, 94 area and that previous peak D at 94, it's like a magnet. The price keeps wanting to go back there. So energy is acting very well here. That could be another component that says um, be a little careful in the um, be a little careful in the overall spectrum of your if you're looking at your chessboard you're looking at yields that refuse to go, to go down they keep popping to the upside even when it looks like they're going to come down and you remember where I had the oh, I, I'm jumping around a little bit too much maybe and I'll, I'll jump around that's the way I think TLT uh, look at that I said, I'm not sure this really is a Chapman Wave volume price climax reversal. I'm not going to treat it like that, but I'm going to put it in there just to say, let's just watch it and see if it fails because the volume was only from the normal 40 millions to, went to the 60 million. That's not enough for that big spike, the downside. And you can see here, it might turn out and then we don't take out the 34.54 low of the 3rd of May. But look at this. It's holding pretty darn well, uh, but it is turning down. So uh, the reason why I went there is I was going to say, if yields move higher and crude oil keeps moving higher, even though the grains are starting to pull back this inflationary stuff I'm talking about, those are factors that might cause a little bit of worry in the market. I'll be back with guys at 146 SPZ. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Yeah, so we're looking at the XLE breaking out, and that just says to me that if there's something for the market to worry about, Maybe the fact that oil is not coming back, that the energy sector is not has, has not pulled back with the general market, and that's just telling me that there's some that this rotation, this this bifurcation, trifurcation, quantification, is unfolding now. Where just look at this XLP. <clears throat> this is the XLP, um, S&P Select Consumer Staples made a peak D right there. <clears throat> And pulling back, it's in a sell mode with the nine period moving average just going negative right now. And this is the consumer staples. <clears throat> this is usually the area <clears throat> we've had such a crazy market this in the last year or two where the normality is just not the normality. Remember, there was a period where if the market was going down sharply, you would see the S&P consumer staples go to highs, which they did till early this year, till about uh, March or so. But wait a minute. They were going up together with the general market. <laughs> I mean, really. So um, that doesn't usually happen because folks go to the uh, more conservative interest-producing sector, which is the staples, um, and not the high beta, or the, in, the, in the case that we've been looking at, the high PEs of the, the, the Magnificent Seven. So we've had just crazy things happening. So a couple of questions that I need to get you right away before I forget. There was a question about um, FXI. So FXI has made a peak D. It's in a sell mode. It's gapped down. It's down 86 cents to 27.96. So I'm just saying I, I'd be a little careful here with China. I, I know that I have uh, someone who emails me all the time with, with China positions and really does well. XPEV, I think that's the other one. XPEV, is that the electric? Uh, yeah, that's XPing. Uh, designs, develops, markets, uh, manufactures smart EVs. They're all having a tough time. I mean, look at this. We we got stopped out of, uh, was that the one? No, that's not. Yeah, the, the 3D cell architecture. Um, we made fantastic gains, and we only had a small position. We kept wanting to put more in, but look what happened. It goes from... Um, it goes from our entry point in the 16th, screams up to 23.70, pulls back sharply, and then has another test, goes to 23.90, and now it's down at 16.15.
so something's not quite right. If you're looking at, oh, what were the other stocks that I was looking at as well? Uh, in the sector, in the um, in the battery sector, all right, I'll get to them in a moment. But I'm just saying, this is this is tough. It is really tough because the theme is just keeps slipping away. It's there and then it's gone. So that's the one thing. The other I was going to talk about, oh, and I said I'd do a little analysis today on ENVX. Yeah, I this is one that I I wanted our subscribers to come right back into. We had enough that I could say it's just a little bit. Let's just hold it. Even if it goes down two points, it doesn't matter because uh, the little bits that we've taken off really made good money. I I just have to wait. All the technicals, there's nothing technically here that says if it has a bounce, that bounce is going to hold. It says that it probably needs to test the 14, 15 to 14, 40, uh, 14, yeah, 50 area, which is a 200 period moving average. Then we'll look at it again. Another question came in. Could I uh, look at, uh, let's see, where was it? Whoops. Um, oh, AI. AI. So artificial intelligence, this is the uh, symbol for C3.AI Inc. And look, oh, I want you to show this one. Look how quick, did I do this yesterday? Look how quickly it went to peak A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And look, it comes back in this arch formation, in a full arch formation, retesting, just like the gold contract, the GDX. Here it is, 30, the low that was made, right there, after that peak F top back in June pulls back sharply. It goes down on the 27th of June. It goes to 30, 3150, 33, no, 3157. And look what we've got. We've got a low today of 3165. So a couple of pennies above. Oh, well, th that particular pattern I wanted to show because I'm talking patterns here. Very quick, A, B, C, D, and even E, F, and G. And then it usually gives back some. This is given back a lot more. Um, TTD I wrote down. Why did I write that down? Because I haven't got all the notation. I had all the notation. Where did it go? Oh, my. Um, having an, oh, that's TD. Oh, oh. yeah, TTT. -T -T. Wait, trade desk, TDD. No, TTD. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Um, and went very quickly. Look, peak A, B, C, D, and a measured move from the left side high of the 16th or so of July, all the way at 91, comes back down to the 14 period moving average. But that nine doesn't come negative. It holds and it goes to a peak E, just a little bit higher. And then it comes down and it takes it out and does more than a one to one to the downside. Um, I wrote that down, but now I can't remember why I wanted it. Uh, anyway, I wrote it down for a reason. Oh, that's right. Just to show you the vertical. Look, the MACD was much weaker. The stochastic was much weaker. The on-balance volume was much weaker. But that nine kept you going there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Only on the seventh day did it turn negative. Look at the Dow. This is the one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the eighth session, and that nine just won't turn down. So that is really impressive. So all I'm saying to you is that if you use different indicators, know what the indicators do. Use them so often that they become yours. Don't look. At, don't look to someone else to say to you, oh, blah, 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 blah. Just know what it does. Get to know it very well. And then implement it over and over. Practice it. Even practice it on stocks you don't have or positions you don't. Just like I like to do. I like to keep practicing all the time, notating, notating. Every single – look at this. I'll show you this. Now, let's just do this real quickly. So you see all the notation uh, here? We got all the notation, right? Uh, look at the S&P. All the notation. There's nothing that, that's automated. Wow. I, well, I mean, on, on the notation side, the letters, uh, everything else is notated. I only wish that they were. I can't, I, I can't feel comfortable knowing that I'm going to get every one. There are going to be some that are just not right. Um, so that's the reason why I do it by hand. 
because when I, I've automated it before, I'm, I hope to do that again sometime soon. I just haven't been able to do it or, or find someone that uses TradeStation. I, I think that's the best. I've got all my notations here um, to be able to do this um, because – and all – in, in, when you're doing something in software, if you make one change, it affects everything that's pertinent to that change. Sometimes you only want it as a one-off. You just say, oh, you know, I'm going to choose this to be a G, a G instead of a C. Uh, you know, and then you do it so quickly by eye as a human being. And then if it's computerized, it says, oh, every time it gets to that pattern, it's going to do it. But I'm saying it only refers to this one. So that's, you know, that's the reason. So I just want to show you um, something that's going on here. So I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chap and Tiger did you show one segment to go and we'll see if there's a callback coming here. Okay, go TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. And before I finish this up here, I just wanted to tell you that, you know, candlesticks are really important, but Teddy's webinar coming up on Monday actually not only talks about the candles, but he gives you strategies with options and other things and the way to look at it. It should be a not just an interesting, it should be a very applicable 
And that's what we like to do here for teaching here at, at TFNN. We want it applicable to your actual real life situation. So I'm just saying that, that um, if you can go to the front page of TFNN, check it out Monday, August the 14th, four o'clock to five, uh, Japanese candlestick patterns, stock and option strategies. I mean, it's the strategies, isn't that? Look what I just did. And I said to you, I can't get a downside target on this particular thing until certain things happen to the upside. Now I can. I don't know if it's going to work, but I've got a little X here that says round about 11.10 to 11.20, there's a chance that we test the 44.71.50 uh, low that was made at 10.13 this morning. So those are techniques. We did this live. You're looking at it right now. So let me just do this before we wrap up. Um, check out my opening call. We've had some really nice positions uh, lately. Uh, it's not been easy, but that's the way it is. And it's, sometimes it's better to be a little difficult because it pushes the envelope and you have to really work hard to do it. So within that context, I just want to show you, I had a, a call, uh, just a quick thing about Microsoft. Microsoft, yeah, this is going down to the bottom. All of these things, oh, I didn't finish the GDX. So GDX is testing uh, that left side, 28.78, low of the 29th of June. It went to 28.67 this morning. It's got it's up 25 cents. Uh, this is going to be a very important couple of days that we've got coming up. So with that said, uh, stay tuned. We've got a great program coming up. But I also wanted to say that my opening call for my my video, my weekly, my weekend video that I do for subscribers tomorrow, there is a ton that I'm going to be discussing as well as positions that we want to start looking at to add to the long side or to start fresh on the long side. It's going to be very coming up next. Have a great day. Have a great 